Okay, the next thing that I want to show you is the computer audio system that I have set up here. And um, I showed you before in, the, in another clip that I have a computer set up just in this lower left, um, this lower left uh, cabinet here. And um, what I have right now is uh, I think it's like an, an old Dell Dimension 4300 set up in here. Um, this is from like 2002 or something, so about 10, 10 12 years old here. And um, it's basically just meant to run um, like, a, like iTunes or, or Windows Media Player or something, mostly for, for music in the workshop. But if I needed to, to look up some plans or something on the internet, I also have the internet down here too. So it's nice that you know it's, it has some kind of multifunction, multifunctional use here. I guess I could have used a laptop to save some space and serve the same purpose. The computer is a little bit slow to load up uh, internet sites, so it's you know mostly just mostly just for running audio here. Um, but you know I have the space in the cabinet, so I may as well use it. Um, what I have is basically one of those um, those flexible keyboards. It's those waterproof keyboards, so I can just wipe it down. It gets maybe a little bit dusty in here. It's not too bad when the doors are closed, but it's nice just to be able to wipe that down. And um, and uh, and yeah, so that's so that's that. Um, you can see I have iTunes on here right now. Um, these are a couple of the online music stations that I have just pre preloaded into here, uh, mostly from Digitally Imported and, and Sky.fm. So they have quite a few various sites that, that you can choose from for you know lots of different genres of music. Um, I guess the main part of this unit is the amp that I have here. So this is a Muse um, and MSO Audio Amp. Okay, so you can see in the back there, on the right hand side, I have an 8th inch audio input. That's coming right from the computer. And then on the, the and I guess in the middle there, there's two speaker wires out. That's a left channel and a right channel out. And then on the very left is the uh, is the power input, 12 volt power input. But this is a really nice amp. Um, it's uh, It's got a nice volume control here. It's actually uh, solidly built. It was about $60, but well worth the price. Um, well worth the price to spend on it. But basically, from um, from these two uh, the two speaker outs here, they go into a port just behind the computer. So just behind the computer here, you can see that there's the um, the jacks for the wall there, and I have them. I have some banana plugs plugged into them there, and I have um, left out and right out. I guess these are the jacks for the computer here. You can see I've terminated them with the Leviton ports. Um, I just have the Ethernet jack running now. There's also a phone jack and a cable jack, cable TV jack, which I'm not using. Power plug there. Everything is just behind the uh, the monitor there. There's no cable management there whatsoever. And basically, those um, those speaker jacks that I have on the wall. Um, I showed you this when I was doing my wiring videos here. Um, this, the wires come across and they go all the way to the uh, the volume control here on the wall. And this volume control is nice because I can just control the volume within the room here. I don't need to go all the way down to the uh, to the cabinet there and open up the cabinet and you know adjust the adjust the volume on the amp. So I can just do it from here. Let me show you the um, the range here. I guess the volume range. So this is usually set maybe around 30, 40 percent. speakers up top here. They're actually um, about 80 watt speakers. They're the normal, uh, I guess, um, uh, ceiling speakers that you use. I forget the company now. But actually not a, not a bad sound considering how small they are. But these speakers are actually, sorry, the, uh, the amp is actually essential to power those speakers up there. The computer isn't strong enough to power the, um, the, the, 80, watt, the 80 watt speakers up there. So you need this as a, as a driver, I guess. It's, it injects power into the speaker line and then, uh, and then you can actually get good sound on there. Initially, I just tried powering the speakers with the computer and it was very, very quiet, very, very quiet. So um, I had to buy the amp. And now it's, uh, it's actually really nice. There's a nice on-off switch here too. Turns the amp on and off. So 
So the speaker mounts are basically just a piece of plywood with a hole cut in them and they have the speakers mounted through them and uh, there's a couple of latches just on the top to screw in just so they stay in place and I have a little bit of excess speaker wire up there just coiled around and, um, and that completes it. Okay, so that's about it for the computer and audio system.